Okay, it's all very good. Proton Mail has finished importing. And I'm running as nick.litten at proton.me. Now I want to park my main domain name. I'm going to do this quickly, pause it in between sections um, because I'm very hungry and it's lunchtime. If you hear any strange noises in the background, that'd be my stomach rumbling. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully it won't. You might hear some other noises, which would be the missus wandering around yelling at me saying, don't you know it's time for lunch? So let's go quick. Okay, so in Proton Mail, we're going to go into our settings, the little gear icon, top right, and go to settings. From the settings, if you page down, you'll eventually see down the left-hand side, domain names. Go to domain names. This is where you can add your domain. In my case, it's my nicklitton.com domain name that I use for the main website and my email, which is nick at nicklitton.com. I've opened another tab and logged into my email configuration. So in your domain name, go to your control panel for your domain name, go to the settings and find DNS manager. That's the bit where you manage the DNS um, for your uh, email settings themselves. Here's all of my email settings with my mail and text bits and pieces. Yours will look different, obviously. I've got some other things in here. Um, I've just removed all of the MX accounts. They were the old Google Mail MX accounts. Um, it said external MX because it was hooked into. Yours could say you are the mail server, whatever. We're going to follow the instructions and do it properly. So back in Proton Mail domain names, I'm going to add a domain. I'm going to add nicklitton.com. Next, it asks me for my Proton Mail email address. So that's my Proton Mail email address to validate that it is me making changes to my email. I like that level of security, right? Now it's thinking about things. I'm going to take a quick little screenshot of that. And I'll put that in the blog. Okay, once it's figured that out, it's come up and said, for security reasons, we need to verify you're the owner. So please add the following DNS text record to the domain. So this is a text record with a host name of at and this value. So I'm gonna click copy to copy that value. Then I'm gonna go into the control panel for my account. And what I'm gonna add is one of these text values. This is so that ProtonMail will be able to ping my website and say, do you actually own this email address? So that, you know, to, just to stop people spoofing other people's emails. So in here, I'm going to add a text value. And the value itself is that big copy pasted in thing. I haven't got to do an at because it defaults to an at sign. Um, so I'm just going to submit it. In fact, if I put an at in, I wonder if that will work. Let's see. The TTL is time to live. I very rarely alter those. I just leave them to whatever the default values are. So I've added text dot at. Yeah, it takes the at out because in my particular mailbox, I know that it doesn't need it. But you'll notice there's now a text record here for ProtonMail. So if I go back into ProtonMail and say next, Verif verification did not succeed. It takes a little while for those updates to the server to take effect on the server. So um, let's go in and make sure that everything's saved. Uh, let me turn off some of the settings just to push some other settings into the mail server itself. If I edit this Proton Mail one, yeah, it all looks correct. I'm going to save it again. I haven't done anything apart from just fanning around a little bit with it. So it's definitely updated. Let's try again and see if that's managed to propagate into the internet yet. No, it hasn't. So uh, it can take up to a day for a DNS change to update. It doesn't normally take that long for these updates to do. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes and go make myself a cup of coffee. Back in a moment. <laughs> My granddad used to blow his nose out of time. It's the next day. I never made it back yesterday. We ended up going out for lunch, went for a curry in Javier. Very nice. Followed by a few too many glasses of red wine, followed by coming home, putting wood in the fire, turning it on, and just sit back and watching movies and relaxing for the evening. So this is just sat here verifying the entire time. Um, so let's do a quick recap of what I ended up doing. So yes, eventually the text did verify on the DNS. It took 
until this morning to do it. So it was like 12 hours for that DNS change to propagate. And as you go through these steps, they give you one at a time, just things to copy into your config. So once you've verified this first one, you've added the text record. When you click next, it takes you to the next screen and you'll have two MX entries to add. So you copy both of these. You create an MX for mail.protonmail.ch with priority 10 and an MX with mailsec 20. So again, in here, you're just gonna add a new one. You can see that I've done an MX for Proton Mail. It looks like this if you wanna see it. Once again, I'm waiting for this to propagate through. Everything else has been updated. This is the only thing that it hasn't read yet. So you put an at sign in there to your subdomain. Your target is mail.protonmail.ch with a priority of 10. Again, on my web server, it replaces the at signs with blanks. It doesn't seem to cause any problems. And I did, if you've got an existing MX entry in there, remove it so that you've just got those two MXs. Then you can, you see as you go through these steps after the MX, it's not validating that one for some reason. It asks for a text at SPF. Uh, where is that? Somewhere floating around here. There we are, proton mail verification. Uh, I added that one. I made sure that V equals SPF1 include. I had an existing one already there and I replaced it with a proton mail one and it worked just perfect. The same with DKIM. I added these three C name entries. Here they are. I then added a DMONC the exact same way. Um, it says here P none has no effect on email delivery, but we recommend P equals quarantine for better security. So I just changed that to P equals quarantine. You can see that I put that down here. It's got a little question mark. This DNS would override any wildcard DNS records matching the DMARC subdomain. To be honest, I don't even know what that means. I'm just following the instructions. And for the addresses, when you click address, it takes you back into the ProtonMail setup. You make sure that you add the email address that you want to be sending as from your website. And in my case, I made it uh, a default. So while I'm waiting for those domain names to propagate, hopefully I want to see this MX go green. You can come in here and click refresh status at any time. Um, yeah. As you can see, you can also have a catch all address. So nick at nicklitton.com is my main address. And if I go back, I can actually send an email now. So let me, let's do one. Let's send a quick little email. Oh, in fact, what's this telling me? Your nicklitton.com emails are now protected by DKIM. Okay, so it's, you can see that it's gradually updating and doing things in the background. So I'll just forward this to another one of my email addresses to see what it looks like. So if I forward this to uh, one of my work email addresses, i just call it testing. I send it. Now I know that um, Proton Mail has this feature where I think it gives you 10 seconds to roll back. You can send an email and go, oh no, it's an emergency, I didn't mean to send that. And you can go into send email and uh, right click and or some, somehow in here you can unsend it. If I can find out how to do that. I saw that was in there though. It was one of their features. Uh, do you do it? So you have to wait 10 seconds, basically, is what I found when sending emails. So if I then look into my other email packet. Oh, as I was looking, it just appeared. There it is. There's my email. Uh, it works very nicely because it even picks up, because I've got nicklitton.com defined at Gmail, at uh, Gravatar, it goes and picks up my um, Gravatar image as well. And here's the email. So that's that. It's actually really simple. I'm going to dive into to using... Um, Proton Mail and uh, see what I think about it uh, uh, going forward. So, um, yeah, go for it. Get off the big tech gravy chain and break free and enjoy a life of freedom and unmonitored emails. Right. Another end of another long, boring video, but hopefully, it helps somebody.